Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 213. Cell Injury. What is Reversible Cell Injury? Reversible cell injury is a type of injury that can be reversed with oxygen. Reversible cell injury is generally considered injury in its starting phase, so the injury has not gotten so bad that it's irreversible, so when oxygen is restored, uh, the injury can be reversed. What are the characteristics of reversible cell injury? In reversible cell injury, there is decrease in ATP synthesis, and when there is decrease in ATP synthesis, this leads to cellular swelling, and we know that because of low or no ATP, this would lead to impairment of the sodium-potassium pump. So that's why because of low ATP, there would be cellular swelling. There would also be nuclear chromatin clumping, decrease in glycogen, fatty change, and ribosomal detachment due to decrease in protein synthesis. Name the characteristics of irreversible cell injury. In irreversible cell injury, there is nuclear pycnosis, nuclear karyolysis, and carrier rexis. In irreversible cell injury, due to the calcium influx, there would also be caspase activation, therefore leading to cellular breakdown. There is also plasma membrane damage, lysosomal rupture, and mitochondrial permeability. So with any of these situations, the cell has got to a point of no return. So therefore, this is irreversible cell injury. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.